Hi, this is Heather. So it's December. We are in full holiday swing. And I thought it was about time you got a recipe for some healthy cookies so that you can treat yourself without feeling guilty. And it goes deeper than that because by doing this, by making yourself a healthy vegan treat, you are not only being compassionate to animals and the planet by reducing your animal consumption, you are not only being compassionate to yourself by avoiding the regular kind of treats that are going around this time of year that are full of refined sugars and refined oils that drain nutrients and health from your body, but you're also taking time to make something for yourself or to share with others that you have put your time and effort and love into. So when people do yoga sessions, they start off, usually the teacher will say, to set an intention for your practice. And so today I wanted to take a moment to set an intention for our cookie making. And so when I make cookies, my intention is to show someone that I love them through my cookies. So today what I want to do is show my love to you with some lemon almond cookies. And these don't take very long to make, by the way, but I think so often we focus, and I'm guilty of this too, but focusing on making everything super quick and super easy and minimizing our effort. But some things are worth a little bit of effort, a little bit of thought, a little bit of intention. First, in making healthy cookies, you want to eliminate and reduce the refined oils. So I have some extra virgin, unrefined coconut oil, and I'm only using a quarter cup. Most cookie recipes use a lot more, but what you can do is reduce that by using a liquid sweetener. And I'm gonna use brown rice syrup as a low glycemic option. Maple syrup is what I would typically use in this recipe, but I have brown rice syrup today. So that's what I'm using. And you can do that too if you wanna make it low glycemic. Another substitution you can make if you like is to swap the coconut oil for coconut butter or cashew butter or almond butter for those who want to keep it whole foods, want to avoid oil. I often do that in my cookies and these ones would work really, really nicely with some nut butter instead of coconut oil if you prefer. Coconut oil makes it more like a shortbread texture. So for those who want to do a really indulgent holiday cookie, that's why I'm using the coconut oil. So stir those together until they become nice and smooth and creamy. Then we're going to do one of my favorite things, which is zesting a lime. So take a zester or a microplane. What you're going to do is just take off the very outer peel of the lemon, which has all of the flavor, wonderful flavor of lemon. And there are also a ton of antioxidants in this peel, one of which helps counteract the damaging effects of cigarette smoke which is not only important for those who smoke, but those of us who are around people who smoke to offset those effects. Then squeeze in about a teaspoon of the lemon juice. Pinch of sea salt, and then just stir this together. Then you're ready to add some flour. I've listed brown rice, but you can use any um, gluten-free flour that you like, so I'm using part teff flour, which is nice and high in protein and iron. And I'm also going to use some coconut flour and some ground almonds, lovely for calcium. You can either buy them ground or grind them yourself. I nearly forgot one of my secret ingredients here, which is just a tiny bit of almond extract. If you want to make your cookies smell and taste magical, almond extract. Then you're going to stir this together and it should just come together. And last but not least, I'm gonna add some chopped almonds to give these cookies a little crunch and some added calcium, magnesium, and vitamin E. So just kind of squish those into your cookie batter. Now part of the fun of making cookies is testing the batter. And as a vegan, you don't have to worry, there's no egg in here. That is perfect. I actually really like testing the cookie batter before I bake it because if I want to change something, I can do that now. Once it's baked, no going back. Then just form them into balls and lay them onto a lined 
cookie sheet. I'm using my toaster oven tray with a Silpat mat folded in half. And then you put them in the oven at 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes and they should be lovely golden brown. They're done. So just let them cool off for a few minutes and then you can take a taste test. Mm, spectacular. The brown rice syrup is on the low end of the sweetness scale, hence why it's low glycemic. Maple syrup will make them much sweeter. So go with whichever one you prefer and you can mix and match. You could do part brown rice syrup, part maple syrup. Get them in between sweetness. So these cookies are part of an online course that I'm putting on this month, Healthy Vegan Desserts. So if you wanna make more cookies like this and even healthier treats and lots of different types of things, muffins, pies, squares, brownies, all those kinds of things, just click the link down below this video. You'll find more information, more details about the course. I wanna show you how to treat yourself with cookies and desserts that you don't have to feel guilty about. I hope you enjoy the lemon almond cookies and I hope to see you for the healthy desserts class this month and I'll see you again next week. Bye guys.